Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. My dad warned me when I was a kid, never mix ammonia and bleach. He told me something about a chemical reaction, but I couldn't understand why it was so dangerous. When I asked him what would happen if I did mix them, he told me bad things would happen. My dad was exactly right. A few years later, when I gave this experiment a shot on my own, the bad things he described did indeed happen. The good news is that I performed my stunt outside, where there was plenty of air and the toxic gases I created weren't able to hurt me or anyone else. When I saw that evil spitting liquid and the vapor cloud that looked like it had wafted out of hell itself, I knew immediately both that I had screwed up and that I had to try something like this again and again. Why does mixing two of the most common things basically summon the chemistry devil? What other interesting chemicals were hiding in the plain plastic bottles under the sink? These were some of the burning questions for me when I first discovered this years ago. What was at the heart of my fascination was the transformation. Two normal substances, ammonia and bleach, coming together to make something physically unrecognizable from its parts. Two relatively safe, benign parent chemicals producing vicious, violent offspring. If I had to point my finger at the worst actor in the ammonia bleach pair, I definitely have to go with the bleach. Sodium hypochlorite is the chemical name of this substance and practically anyone can find this stuff under just about any sink on planet Earth. Most people don't realize there is something very dangerous trapped inside the sodium hypochlorite molecule. Chlorine is what gives bleach its cleaning and disinfecting punch, but this chlorine is trying to claw its way out. Remember, chlorine gas was the first chemical weapon deployed during World War I, and it killed and devoured countless people on all sides. The chlorine trapped in the bleach is a killer all by itself, but that's not what makes mixing ammonia and bleach so dangerous. In addition to the escape of chlorine gas, it also reacts with ammonia to produce chemicals that are far worse. Ammonia in solution comes in the form of a hydroxide of NH3. This group of four atoms, one nitrogen and three hydrogens, is extremely reactive and does something special when it meets chlorine. The ammonia group is positively charged, while the chlorine is negative. Paula Abdul reminded us that opposites attract, and nowhere is this more true than in chemistry and physics. When ammonia and chlorine come together, they form a few different personality types in their children. How strong and crazy this marriage is depends on a few factors, including the potency of the ammonia and bleach used, the temperature, and the method of mixing. It can be hard to predict how violent the reaction will be. It's not just chlorine gas that's created. Hydrochloric acid, poisonous chloramines, and even hydrazine, an explosive component used in rocket propellants, can be born from the meeting of hypochlorite and ammonia. These chemicals can fuse together in unexpected ways. The transformation is not always easy to predict or control. If you want to be safe out there, just don't mix bleach with anything, ever. If hypochlorite ever meets the acetic acid in vinegar, deadly levels of chlorine gas will fizz out of the mix. Recently, in 2019, an employee at the Massachusetts restaurant Buffalo Wild Wings was killed when he combined a powdered cleaning chemical with simple bleach. This poor guy was trying to clean the floor and thought he could get an edge on the grime by mixing up his cleaning chemicals. It turned out when he combined the bleach with the acidic powder, it unlocked the bubbling green gas chlorine. The employee tried to clean up the frothy mix and became overcome by the gas. Just like the soldiers in World War I, his lungs basically liquefied from hydrochloric acid created when the chlorine gas meets the water in the body. The Wild Wings employee died later that day. This stuff is not playing around. If you decide that making this mix is something you just can't live another day without, please perform this under a well-ventilated fume hood that will keep the chloramine gas and other chemical demons away from you and the environment. Please do it for your intrepid host. Chemicals can be worse than serial killers, and they don't make exceptions for anyone. 
Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium. <laughs>